Welcome back to the brand new series of the Michael Benitez YouTube channel, Tom's and Friends Commentaries. I'm your host of the most, Michael Benitez. Today we'll be continuing on this series with episode 2. The, what's episode 2? Episode 2 of TNF Commentaries. We'll be commentating the episode, Edward's Day Out. One day, Edward was in the shed where he lived with the other engines. They were all bigger than Edward and boasted about it. Okay, whoa, 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 we gotta talk about this. Okay, the narrator just said that Edward is the smallest engine in the shed. That's not true. Thomas is in the shed, and he's smaller than Edward. And who's Edward? Edward is the Northwestern Railway number two. Specifically, he's a Furnace Railway K2. The Furnace Railway, the Furnace Railway, was an old railway in the 19, in the 1800s, and one of the best-selling locomotives they ever built were the K2s. Edward is a member of this class. Also, very wonky eyes, James. Okay, let's continue on. I won't choose you again," said Gordon. "He wants strong engines like us." Wow, Gordon, you are really putting Edward down. You're going to see a lot in this series where Edward and Gordon, uh, well, most specifically Gordon, uh, makes fun of Edward for being too for being too old and a bit small than compared to the other engines as himself, the green engine and the red engine. I fully under understand Edward's pain at this point because he's an old engine, he's not u being used very much. Trust me, Ed uh, trust me, Gordon, you are going to get a payback very soon. I like to call this the Gordon treatment. But the driver of fireman felt sorry for Edward. Would you like to come out today? Oh, yes, please, Edward. Okay, now we know, now we know that the driver and fireman of Edward do care for their engine, so they said take him out for a journey. Edward isn't pleased with this. Let's continue on. Well, they lit his fire, made lots of steam, and Edward puffed away. Okay, watch this scene very closely. The other engines were very cross at being left behind. Okay, as you can clear, as you can clearly s uh, see, well, it was pretty hard to see. Um, the turn when Edward came across the turntable, the turntable, the turntable dipped downward due to Edward's weight, and then when he came off the turntable, the turntable dipped right back up. I realized this when I first watched the episode. And Thomas, why are you so angry about Edward getting a day out? You barely even leave the uh, uh, the yard. Well, at this point in the series, however, let's continue on. I really love Edward's theme in this uh, in the in the show. It, I don't know how to per, uh, pers uh, I don't know how to call this theme to be exact. I like to call this theme a bit of heroic, brave in an old-fashioned way because Edward is an old-fashioned engine. And also, I love really good with these scenes. Okay, this is a thing that I wish they had continue on in the show with Edward with these three kinds of coaches. You won't see these coaches after season one. They, they only appear in the first season. I wish they kept him in the season like as Edward's own coaches because it made more sense to them because they look old-fashioned, just like Edward. Uh, uh, old-fashioned is, is used a lot in this series, especially with Edward. Let's continue on and see what happens next. I'm going out again tomorrow, Edward told the other engines that night. What do you think of that? But he didn't hear what they thought. But he was so tired and happy that he fell asleep at once. Okay, first off, a beautiful night set they did for this scene. Everything about this scene is completely gorgeous. The moon in the distance, the sheds, the lights in the distance. Hey, you can even see the breakdown crane. You won't see that until later on in season in episode seven. Now, as you can see, there's steam coming out of. Um, I don't know why this happened. Like, um, there's steam out of a uh, coming out of the track. This was used to make the engines look like they were holding steam, or make. Or making steam. I guess they forgot to turn it off and left it on for this particular scene. And I really like how they made it look like a night scene. Alright, let's continue next and see what happens. Next morning, Edward woke up to find nothing could change. Gordon was still boasting. You watch me, little Edward, as I rush through with the express. That will be a splendid sight for you. 
Oh my god. Here we go again. Gordon treatment. Number three. Honestly, Gordon, what do you have against Edward? He's, st he's still a hard-working locomotive. He, even though he might be little, he still does trains. Watch this scene again. Uh, well, watch this scene. You'll see what happens. Bye, little Edward. Look out for me this afternoon. Okay, so... The Trinity does the same thing it did in the case of... <coughs> <coughs> it did the same case that it did for Edward, in which case it dipped downward with Gordon, then came back up. Because, okay, no, uh, uh, Gordon retained the nickname Galloping Sausage. So, just, so be aware that I would call him Galloping Sausage for some point in the series. And I don't think Edward's that much too, uh, uh, much worried about Edward's, um, Gordon's, uh, like, sayings. Also, throughout the series... Edward, Gordon will always call the engines Little. Like in the case of Edward, Little Edward. Or in Thomas, Little Thomas. Edward went off to do some shunting. He liked shunting. It was fun playing with freight trucks. He would come up quietly and give them a push. Then he would stop and the silly freight cars would go bump into each other. Oh, they cried. Whatever is happening. Okay, I love the first. The I love this first season, Troubles in Trucks. The where uh, because they look so unique as can compared to the other sh uh, other uh, trucks for the rest of the series. Again, you'll only see these kinds of trucks with these kind of faces for the entire uh, for the entire majority of season one, but not uh, but not afterwards. So basically, I think what they did was basically they like color they took they put out purple um, paper circles and just uh, and colored them to look like eyes, and then there you go. This black thing here is the mouth. Really nice looking trucks man Edward why are you shunting these cars it's Thomas's job to shunt however I love, I love how he's being really useful in these couple scenes Well, I guess it would have been sense uh, senseful because he did shunt all coaches in the, in the direct proper places. Because, I don't know, because if you shunt the co co uh, cars in the proper places, this is an actual railway, Edward. You don't play with these cars for nothing. And I just realized this. In the back of this scene, you see Edward's coaches. However, they actually they look orangey-like. Do you know why they look orangey-like? I'll explain to you later. However, please, uh, please be aware this might uh, be come again. Be uh, beware when I do the episode Cole. You'll get when I do the episode Cole about Henry. You'll understand why these coaches are so orange and not and not cream and green as they were in the beginning of the scene. So let's continue. Presently, we hear the whistle. Gordon was very cross. I wonder why. Nice shining coaches. He was pulling a very dirty freight train. A freight train. A freight train. A freight train, he grumbled. The shame of it. The shame of it. Oh, the shame of it. Oh, Gordon, quit your whining. It's only a couple of trucks. What, what do you think it is? It's not a full-blown freight, tr not a full -blown, uh, freight train they use in America. Trust me, Gordon is a real is a real whiny in this episode. Trust me, he is. But Edward's laugh and just continues on with his work. I went to find some more freight cars. Then there was trouble. Gordon can't get up the hill, the porter called to Edward's driver. Will you take Edward and push him, please? This is another thing that will have that will reoccur on the series. From now on, after this episode, Edward will become a backing engine, an engine that uh, an engine that actually um, pushes trains up the hills or helps them push trains up the hills. And look, those those are the brown co uh, orange coaches again in the background. They found Gordon halfway up and very cross. His driver and fireman were talking to him. Okay, really nice back view of the distance of how the the ocean is in the background because Sodor is an island. You can see them in the background. Look at that. The beautiful ocean is very beautiful. It is a ve this is one of the most beautiful scenes I've ever thought of when it comes to season one. You're not trying. I can't do it, said Gordon. The noisy freight cars hold an engine back so. Another version of Gordon treatment, I assume? This driver came. We've come to push. No use at all, said Gordon. 
Ed uh, Gordon is so mean. Okay, I have to say this. Gordon is not really like really nice to Edward in these couple scenes. The, the, wait a minute. Are you kidding me, Gordon? Gordon, are you actually kidding me? Uh, I'm sorry. I have to point this out. Gordon is pulling one, two, three, four, five, six cars. Six cars, Gordon. You're a full-blown London and Northeastern Pacific locomotive. You're not a tank engine. Are you lazy? Okay, this is... I'm sorry, but Gordon is way too whiny in this uh, scene. He is pulling six cars up the hill, and he's, and he can't even get up the hill but with this train. This makes literally no sense in this... Uh, this I've always wanted to do it. I always wanted to do this in, the, in this episode. I had to because, Gordon, you're so lazy. Those are just six cars. You can just pull them right up the hill. I don't know, every I don't know, guys. Let's just continue on. I'm ready, said Edward. No good grumpy. Okay, listen to the steam during when they're going up the hill. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it, Pop Gordon. How about I'm so lazy I can't pull six cars up the hill, Gordon? I will do it. I will do it, Puffed Edward. Okay, so this is a this is a reference to the re Reverend W. Audrey because the um Al Wilbert Audrey when uh, he said as a child he would he he lived near a he lived near a hill where a train where a bag engine would help the train up the hill. He always thought the engine was seeing the thing, the bigger engine saying I can do it, I can do it, I can do it, and the bag engine saying you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. A really nice homage to, to the Reverend to the late Reverend W. Audrey. Gordon treatment again. Also, the uh, the rails kind of slack a little bit. They um sl go down a little bit when Edward and Gordon cross them. Gordon, you are such a dare I say it prat? No, brat, more like it. Got all about Edward. Man, Gordon's fast in these couple of scenes. See, look, he goes past Wellsworth. That means there's another station. That's what I did in episode one. Gordon is a very mean engine. Trust me, you're gonna see this a lot. Fun fact: Gordon was named after a bully on the on the uh, Reverend Street, and, uh, and just like his namesake, this Gordon, uh, that Gordon was a bully. Say thank you. Okay, I really want to know what this bridge is. If all you Thomas and Friends, uh, Thomas and Friends fans out there, please tell me what this bridge is because I never saw this bridge again after season one. I really want to know what this bridge is. Please let me know in the comment. Uh, please let me know in the comments if you actually do. Breath and fall behind, but he was happy because he had been so helpful. At the next station, he found that the driver and fireman were very pleased with him. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's not Edward's sad face. That's James's sad face. If you want to know who James is, you got to wait until episode seven to figure that out. I don't know. I don't even know why they did this scene. But I like how um, Edward is really dirty after helping Ed uh, helping Gordon up the hill. It's just like that. He's a very kind engine, and he will do anything to help another and a friend in need. Nice long drink, and the driver said, "I'll get out my pen tomorrow and give you a beautiful coat of blue with red stripes." Then you will be the smartest engine in the shed. Okay, there go, there you go, guys. Episode two, Edward, uh, Edward's day out. I really love this episode as this is the, the official debut of Edward. Edward is a really nice engine, and he does a lot of good hard work in this episode. However, Gordon, you are extremely mean to Edward. Trust me, everyone, you're gonna see Gordon and a whole bunch of other characters be like this. Even though there's no specific reason why Gordon doesn't like Edward, probably because he's an express locomotive, and Edward is a mere spare engine at this point in the series but from now on ed will be used uh, more often in the series and he'll be very useful as the sort of railways number two engine so what do you guys think was this your favorite episode uh, guys and if so what was your favorite scene in this episode please let me know down in the comments i'm mike Benitez, say saying goodbye and have a nice night this is episode two of thomas and friends commentaries